the story of a young kid growing up in the hood with very little guidance sounds interesting. I ain't seen you in like a decade. It's not what I expected. What did you expect? So Moonlight is directed by Barry Jenkins and it stars Mahershala Ali, Naomi Harris, and many more. And Moonlight tells the story of young Chiron and his story living in the hoods of Miami and how he kind of goes through his life. And it's set in these three distinct chapters and it's just a very interesting and touching, but in my opinion, just a very important story. And overall, I liked Moonlight a lot. I did not love it the way that I expected and hoped to, but I still really thoroughly enjoyed the film and overall just really appreciated the story it had to tell. Moonlight does a great job showing what Chiron is going through from his perspective. It's a really interesting, unique perspective that you get in this movie. That's what sets this film apart from other movies like it, is that the perspective is so different and it's very fascinating to watch as he goes through his life. And I'm not really going to spoil uh, what the main problem that he's struggling with is because I think it's a really important part of the movie that if I hadn't had spoiled for myself, maybe I would have enjoyed the movie a little bit more. Mahershala Ali in this movie is incredible. I think this guy is really an amazing actor and I've never heard of him up until this year he was in three great projects that being Luke Cage, Hidden Figures, and Moonlight and he's great in all three. This guy radiates charisma right off the screen. He's incredible to watch no matter what role he's in and in this movie he plays a drug dealer that you just you just are so drawn to him and he is an amazing character. Naomi Harris is also in this movie and she plays Chiron's mother and she is brilliant in the film. You really, really grow to hate this woman and you're really supposed to, I think. And at the end of the movie, she kind of goes through a bit of an arc of her own and it's really interesting to watch kind of what happens and the way that she goes throughout the story is really fascinating. Now the three guys that played Chiron, I think the kid who played him was great. I thought the teenage version of him was also very good and the adult version was, uh, you know, he was good. Uh, he, he was less compelling to me. The first two actors were actually more compelling to me than the last guy who played Chiron. But overall I really enjoyed these three guys performances. Now to me this movie is more of a directorial movie and I feel like Barry Jenkins really did an incredible job directing this movie. The cinematography, the camera work, it's so intimate and bizarrely close and I've never really seen anything shot quite like this before. I was really fascinated by the way he used the camera to show these characters emotions and movements. It was it was very different, very handheld, very personal. In the end, Moonlight, I feel like, didn't really do a great job of narrating its main character. The thing is, is that this movie really explored a very important problem and conflict in today's society and something that really isn't being talked about a lot. I know people say that about a lot of different issues, but I truly believe that this is a unique story and I've not seen anything like this ever put on the screen, which is one of the reasons I liked this movie so much. Now, the problem being that Chiron really doesn't do uh, a whole lot, and I felt like the ending of the movie was rather weak and could have provided a bit more closure, but overall I still really enjoyed Moonlight. In the end, I think Moonlight is an incredible film and really is an important and touching story that I think people should really go and see because it tells such an important and incredible story. And with some very good acting and amazing direction from Barry Jenkins, I can't wait to see what these performers and directors do next with their careers. And that's why in the end, I want to give Moonlight a 3.4 out of 4.
Thanks guys, that's my review of Moonlight. I hope you liked it, hope you drop me a subscribe, drop me a like, whatever it is you do here on YouTube, and I'll see you next week.